So what I'm going to try to be doing here with this nice, awesome POS grapple bucket that we bought, <clears throat> way too light duty. There's a bunch of road grader cutting edge welded on it from breaking it before, like 30, 35 feet total. I'm going to be trying a Harbor Freight 90 amp flux core wire welder on the Predator 3500. I got the adapter in here somewhere. See if this won't work, uh, how well it'll work, I mean, for welding on this quarter inch plate. I'm going to have to get the die grinder, hog that out, and uh, weld about three quarter inch of a piece of pipe. That'll be in there. Because here's what actually happened. It blew out. Too much use for how light duty this is. Uh, here's the bolts wearing on it. I had some new bolts laying around somewhere. Might have to buy some new ones. I can't find the darn things. Uh, I'm going to try to weld a nut in there. A quarter by 20 thread. So then I can get greaser. Obviously if I weld the nut in there, I got to have a channel into where the bolt goes for a greaser. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get this all prepped, set up, piece of pipe cut, and see how I can do with that welder. I have never flux core welded before, so that'll be interesting. And I left my nice uh, Miller helmet at home, so I got the $15 Twenty dollar running special, but we'll find out. I was going to use my uh, big cordless bandsaw by Milwaukee. The fuel, I don't know, cuts like five and a quarter inch diameter, but the blades don't. So I went to grab the sawzall, and like an idiot, I've been looking for this thing all summer. Apparently, the one place I didn't look is where it's supposed to go in the toolbox. Genius. Wow. Milwaukee grinder. <laughs> All my power tools are Milwaukee. And no, I didn't do that because everybody else was doing that. Been having Milwaukee tools for like, holy cow, uh, 11 years, coming up on 12. So, good tool all around. So currently, the old hole is not big enough to fit this pipe. It did not wobble out enough. Um, Normally I would use the cutting torch, but I'm out of gas or oxygen or both. So just using the air grinder with some Matco uh, carbide wheels or carbide bits. Project Farm never did a review with the Matco um, carbide bits. There's a couple other really good companies out there, but the Matco ones, where are they Mac? Ah, they're Mac. Sorry, the only reason why I bought them, even though they're expensive, is their lifetime warranty. So when I do something dumb and break them, I can go get them switched. So I'm just going to sit there and hog that out <clears throat> and uh, until I can get it to fit. To be frank, I don't even know if this thing works. I've never used it. Uh, my grandpa bought it, I don't know how many years ago. I've never seen him use it, the welder that is. Um, and he's been gone for the last 10 years. Correct it, 11. Um, got the generator running. On the eco mode is off, so you got better power right away. The welder set on max and 
Like seven for wire speed? See what that does. Oh God, that moved a lot. I don't know what I'm doing with this welder. Okay, slightly crooked. Straight. But even when I get this welded together, I still don't know how strong it's really going to be until I put it on the machine and really reef on it. Try bumping the wire speed up a little bit once. See what that does. Ow. I forgot, it's like an arc welder. All, well, when you pull the trigger, all it does is give it wire. It doesn't um, start stop the electricity. Looking pretty good. I'll find out here real shortly when I chip off the slag. God, the wire feed really screws with me with the electricity on all the time. Now just like arc welding, you cannot go over your bead without uh, getting the slag out. Not got tight on the wire there, so it wasn't uh, free school. So I am actually very pleased with uh, how these welds turned out. I ain't done welding it, but 
I called it quits last night. That bead there, that actually laid pretty nice in there. Um, hopefully it was hot enough. I think so. But uh, yeah, if you got a 3,500 watt Predator, you can run their smaller uh, flux core welder, which I am going to leave in my camper. Make sure I got a couple spools with. So on uh, trips with side by side, if I break something, I can fix it. At least that's the plan. This thing is so poorly made. I welded that in the middle. I'm like, oh, that'll be enough room. Yeah. I had to break out the sludge hammer to get it to frickin' fit. Junk. So, in conclusion, yeah, I know it looks like crap. First time welding with the flux core. She'll work a long time, I think, though. <clears throat> I had to put a nut in there. If you look real carefully, you can still see the nut since that blew out. Use that as a filler. But in conclusion, yeah, the Predator 3500 running their uh, 110 90 amp flux core welder works pretty good. It's a lot less flux on the weld than I was expecting, but then again, it makes sense for how little the wire is compared to arc welders. I uh, was able to do it with Crocs, granted I tucked them underneath. Uh, I'd be able to do a better job than running this old cheap helmet if I would have grabbed my electric one today, but oh well. Throw that in the camper and I can jerry rig, redneck engineer, whatever I need to. Well, let's see how she does. Other side I'm gonna have to do soon too, but for now I'm only gonna do just did that one. Yeah, I need to clean up out back. It looks like a bomb and a tornado had a baby, and that's what came out was the mess that's back there. So a little update after a couple hours of using, it broke again. Blew out back where the nut I welded to fill that gap in so but the rest of the weld all looked good um, what I'm going to end up doing is cutting that back out again yay and wrap rebar around it um, that will give it a lot more strength so in conclusion I would uh, definitely say dog's playing definitely say that uh, welder and that predator uh, generator will work quite well for uh, smaller stuff that quarter inch maybe not um, probably a plenty heavy for it uh, so yeah that I think that would work thanks again for watching like subscribe comment share all that fun jazz. Kids have a good night.